Hi, I am Amal from Experts Vision and in this video we are going to discuss how you can automatically convert your MATLAB code to C code using MATLAB Coder. But first of all, why would anyone need to translate their MATLAB code to C? There could be many reasons. Maybe someone wants to implement their C code on processors or maybe they need to integrate MATLAB made algorithms with existing C environments or some people may just need to accelerate user written MATLAB algorithms basically for faster simulation. Okay, let's see how to use the MATLAB Coder app. First of all, you need to make sure you have a C compiler installed. You can do that by using the setup command. This shows I already have a compiler installed. If you don't, you will first have to install the compiler before you can generate C code. Here I have a simple function which takes two input arguments and adds them together. I am going to convert this into C code. To do that, go to the apps tab, MATLAB coder, name the project, well, let's name it my ad. The first thing you need to do is add the entry point files. You can do that by add files. Here is the function I made. Now keep in mind since we are converting to C code, I need to define the input variable size and type. I can do this by clicking here. Let's define type double and a scalar. Okay, go to build, set the output to C static library, generate code only, build. When I click on build, MATLAB Coder starts generating the C code. If there were any errors or problem, a warning will be shown. Let's view the report. Here you can see the code generated. Here is our entry point function in terms of double. I can change these, the type of the input arguments by going to overview. And then you can choose int type vector. And 32 vector of size 4 to build, build. here you can see a for loop which has been used to initialize the input vector here are all the other files which have been generated by MATLAB Coder. You can see the initialize function and the terminate function. It is a good practice to call the initialize function before you call the main entry point function. And following the entry point function, you should call the terminate function. The initialize function will initialize things like space and memory. Terminate may be used if you have opened up some file pointers. So always remember to call the initialize function first and then the entry point function and followed by the terminate function if required. The other functions we have here are get inf, get nan. These all are functions which handle non-finite numbers. We need these functions because MATLAB can handle non-finite numbers. So if you need code to handle that, you need to use these functions. Okay, one thing you need to keep in mind is that this conversion has its limitations. Since support for visualization, Java, and some other features has not been added, commands like plot and surf cannot be converted into C. Okay, so that's all there is to it. If you have any types of queries, you can contact us at expertsvision at the rate live.com or add us on Skype at experts.vision. Thank you for watching.